Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we will create and set up Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA. We are going to use Spring Initializer to quickly create and boost up Spring Boot project and then we will import that project in our IntelliJ IDEA. Let's head over to the browser. I am in a Chrome browser. Well, in a new tab, just type start.spring.io. This will bring up Spring Initializer. Well, Spring Initializer is nothing but a website or a web tool that we can use to quickly create and bootstrap Spring based applications. Alright, let's go ahead and let's fill up all the information over here. So you can see here two types of projects, Maven project and Gradle project. We're going to use Maven project. So let's keep Maven project as selected as it is. And here we have three JVM languages, Java, Kotlin, Groovy. We're going to use Java. So let's keep, you know, JVM language that is Java as a selected. And here Spring Boot version, we're going to use Spring Boot 3, that is 3.0.0 snapshot. Okay, so we're going to use Spring Boot 3 in this course. And next, we're going to fill up all the project metadata over here. So let's give group as net.java guides and then artifact something like Spring Boot hyphen rabbit mq hyphen tutorial. And name is same as artifact and description let's you demo project for spring boot and rabbit mq and package name net dot java guides dot spring boot and next packaging as jar and next java version 17 well make sure that whenever you use spring boot 3 you have to use java version 17 or later okay let's keep java 17 as selected over here next we need to choose the dependencies so go ahead and click on add dependencies over here and just type spring for rabbit so you can see here spring for rabbit mq starter dependency so this dependency is very useful okay so spring framework basically provide spring amqp you know library to work with rabbit mq for example just select this dependency and go to the new tab and just type spring amqp okay so spring team basically provides this spring amqp model to work with different messaging system that uses amqp protocol for example rabbitmq uses amqp protocol for messaging right so spring amqp model is basically an abstraction to implement different messaging solutions using different messaging systems uh, that uses amqp protocol all right so spring amqp project applies spring core concepts to development of amqp based messaging solutions it provides a template as a high level abstractions for sending and receiving messages okay by default this spring amqp supports rabbit mq as of now but it may support different messaging systems that uses amq protocol in future okay and if you can see different features like listener container for asynchronous processing of inbound messages rabbit template for sending and receiving messages rabbit admin for automatically declaring queue exchange and bindings so we're going to use rabbit template and rabbit admin in our spring boot application to work with rabbit mq by using this spring amqp project or library so just remember we're going to use spring amqp project or a module to work with rabbit mq using amqp protocol all right great let's go back to spring initializer and let's add few more dependencies like spring web starter dependency well we're going to create a rest api for that we're going to choose spring web starter dependency and also let's add lombok dependency well we're going to use a lombok library to reduce the boilerplate code all right so these three dependencies are enough as of now so let's go ahead and click on generate to generate this project as a zip file so go ahead and click on generate and notice here this spring boot project is downloaded as zip file let's open in a folder all right and let's extract the zip file well once you unzip this zip file Next, you need to import this project in the IntelliJ IDEA, right? So let me open the IntelliJ IDEA over here and here you can see the open option. So go ahead and click on this open and navigate to the 
location where your Spring Boot application is downloaded. In my case, it is in a downloads folder, and this is a Spring Boot RabbitMQ tutorial. So go ahead and select this folder and open it. So this will open, you know, Spring Boot project in the IntelliJ IDEA. Let's wait a couple of seconds because IntelliJ IDEA will download all the dependencies from the internet and it will set up the Spring Boot application properly in a IntelliJ IDEA. So you can able to see the here resolving dependencies of this project. Now we have created and set up Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA. Next we need to verify whether our setup is working properly or not. In order to do that, expand src folder, expand main java and go to Spring Boot main entry point class and from here let's run our Spring Boot project. So right click, I mean click on this icon and then click on run. And you can notice here our Spring Boot application is up and running on embedded Tomcat server on port 8080. It means that we have successfully created and set up Spring Boot project in an IntelliJ idea. In next lecture, we will see how to connect our Spring Boot application with a RabbitMQ server. Alright, I will see you in the next lecture.